Thank you for joining us this Friday morning. That forecast is on the way. But first this morning, two twin brothers are now behind bars in connection to a 2018 Danville murder. And now a verdict in the murder trial of Paul Folks. He stands guilty of murdering 22 year old Shamila Sanders nearly two summers ago in Decatur. And a Springfield fire truck is out of commission after a crash in a city intersection. Right now, President Biden is in Poland. He's getting a first hand look at the impact this war is having on Ukrainian families as the war in Ukraine enters its second month. The internet and social media are becoming a dangerous tool for digital terrorism and hate speech. Well, this is a seven year old Charleston boy and his family and him are raising awareness for pediatric cancer. Wyatt Yarnell was diagnosed with penioblastoma in the summer of 2019. And after being in remission for a year, he relapsed in March of 2021. But as WND's Alyssa Patrick found, Wyatt's family is embracing the victories by finding a way to spend each day finding joy and community together. Here's more. The Make-A-Wish Foundation is sending Wyatt and his family to the Lake of the Ozarks next month. And luckily, the rain this week has given a bit of relief, but if you've been outside over the past week, you might have had to reach for a tissue, maybe two. Allergy season has arrived, causing many of us to start sniffling, sneezing, all of that. You know what I'm talking about. This season, it's rainy season too. Meteorologist Phil Condren says now, Phil, the rain is hopefully out the door and just in time for the weekend. Yeah, just in time, but... Well, picture day at one Indianapolis school did not turn out quite as planned. As Rick Nye shows us, a green outfit on St. Patrick's Day, along with the photographer's green screen background, well, it just didn't quite work out. Take a look. More top stories on the way as well, but as we move into the weekend, here's a quick look at what you can expect happening in central Illinois. For a full list, head over to the community tab on our website, WANDTV.com. We'll be right back. This morning, confronting a platform for hate. Religious leaders set to meet with the FBI as targeted digital harassment is being called a form of terrorism. Thank you for joining us this Friday morning. That forecast on the way. But first, making a push to potentially save lives. State lawmakers and activists are pushing the importance of two new bills that would combat the rising amount of overdoses in Illinois. Getting the state out of debt, Governor Pritzker is highlighting a new plan by state legislatures to pay it back in the state. States are scrambling to ease that pain at the pump. As Miguel Almaguer shows, there are a few states leading the nation in efforts to give payments and relief to consumers with the most dire needs. And there is a little more than three weeks left to file those taxes. So this is your reminder. The IRS has already issued more than 45 million refunds just this year. Well, taking the next step, three pain of student athletes turned their dreams into a reality yesterday. The Farm Progress Show is extending its contract to remain in Decatur as one of the nation's largest agriculture shows. Well, if you're watching right now from home this early, you're probably someone who values their caffeine as much as I do. Who doesn't love a good cup of coffee? But too much caffeine can lead to health concerns. And finding joy despite the heartbreak. How one local family is choosing hope as their son battles cancer and how the community is rallying around them in support. Plus, justice served. The family of Shamila Sanders finally has answers as her killer now awaits sentencing.